it seems that there are two ways to do this integral so check this out first i'm just going to show you guys the easy way which is that u equal to tangent x and you see du is just going to be the derivative which is secant square x dx and we happen to have secant square x times dx right here so take this integral to the u world we get integral and then this right here is our u and this and that together is our du and integrate this in the u world we will just get one half u which is tangent x and then square that and then plus c it looks like we are done right but some of you guys might also think about it like this put the secant out a little bit so we get secant x times secant x times tangent x dx from here let's take that u equal to secant x and you see the du will just be the derivative which is secant x times tangent x times dx well in this case you're going to see that the first secant is our u and then the rest right here is our du so if you integrate this we get one half and then the u in this case is secant x and then to the second power plus c hmm so which one is correct? Well, are they both correct? In fact, they are both correct to be the answer for the integral because this constant is different than that constant. So the result of the integration, they are just off by a constant. That's all. So what's this constant? Well, I can tell you it's one half zero. So that's it.